global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings. Today, we have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news reads, Buhari at the mercy of Nigerians over $29.6 billion loan as Senate takes this decision. But before we go on with details of the news and further analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. All right, let's look at the news in detail. The Senate has said it will seek the opinion of stakeholders on the foreign loan borrowing plan. Our President Major General Muhammadu Buhari retired. The 8th National Assembly has rejected the President's proposed borrowing of $29.96 billion because the proposal was not accompanied by expenditure details. Buhari presented the request again to the 9th National Assembly for its consideration and approval in November 2019. The President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, had assured Buhari that his request will be granted even when the legislative protocol has not been carried out on it. Lawan's position did not go down well with members of the Senate Committee on Local and Foreign Loans who had been asked to scrutinize the document and advise the Senate on the next step to take. Fillers from some members who last year had spoken on condition of anonymity showed that they were no longer interested in the approval process. Some of those who spoke with our correspondents cited Lawan's statement at the news conference last year that the Senate would approve the bill. Further findings indicate that the committee, which has Senator Clifford Odia as chairman and Senator Bima Enaji as vice chairman, may not hold a public hearing on the loan request. A member of the panel who spoke with our correspondent on condition of anonymity had said there was an instruction from the Senate leadership not to hold a public hearing. But the chairman, Senate Committee on Finance, Senator Solomon Adiola, in an interview on Saturday in Abuja, said the Red Chamber would hold a public hearing on Buhari's request. Adiola, however, stated that the Senate Senator Bukula Saraki late eight Senate had approved part of the loan, part of the loan request for Buhari's regime. He said the federal government is not asking the National Assembly to approve the sum of 29.96 billion loan. This is because in the last Senate, about six billion dollars have had been approved for President Muhammadu Buhari to borrow out of the 29.96 billion. Mm. It went further to say it is the balance of the figure that the government is asking us to approve for it in the borrowing plan, which is about $22.6 billion. The Senate Committee on Foreign Loan will organize a public hearing on the issue if need be. In the alternative, we will engage the various agencies of the government to give them a clearer view of how the money would be utilized. The senator added that all the loans being requested will be attached to the execution of the five legacy projects under the Buhari regime, including the Second Niger Bridge, the East West Road, the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, the Mambila Power Project, and the Kaduna Abuja Highway. He added, and I quote, the approval of the loan will afford the government opportunity to achieve the completion of the project before the end of Buhari's administration. According to him, the borrowing plan will assist the government to fulfill its promise to Nigerians within the stipulated four years. Adiola explained that the huge budgetary provision to service foreign loans by the Buhari regime were in order. He said, every successive government borrows and since the business of government is a continuum, any incoming government will have to inherit what the past administration had borrowed. It is a commitment they made on behalf of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 
What should concern us more is the judicious application of the borrowed of the money government is borrowing because all government, even the United States of America, borrow. He went further to say it becomes a burden when government takes loan and refuses to repay. So setting aside the money in order to service any outstanding loan is not a bad deal. The senator said the government was considering two ideas, namely setting up a sinking fund account and at the same time ensuring that money is set aside to repay the loan as and when due. He added, borrowing will not bring onto hardship on the people because any government coming on board after Buhari would still borrow. For instance, just last week, the Central Bank of Nigeria said Nigeria was into a deficit of 4.62 trillion naira in 2019 alone. What that simply means is that the deficit recorded in the 2019 budget is about 4.62 trillion. So the question is, how do we argue this deficit? The option available are we print new currency, we borrow, or we raise international bonds. So the government needs to move on. I agree that there are challenges in the economy, but it is not as a result of the action taken by the Buhari administration alone. The chairman of the Senate Chan Panel on Finance pledged the full commitment of the Red Chambers to monitor the activities of the 300 revenue generating agency with a view to blocking loops hole. Adiola stressed the need to overhaul the Nigerian National Petroleum Com uh, Corporation for the purpose of blocking leakages and end corruption and wastage within the oil and gas sector. He said, issues here is that the importation of fuel by the NNPC is as a result of the non-performance of our refinery. When they recorded under review, when they recorded under review, which led to the issue of sub subsidy payment, the question is, who verifies the payment? Are they auditors who verify payment and report back to government? That is where the legislature should come in and ensure that all the needs to all that is needed to be done must be looked into properly. The Ninth Senate will work assiduously to ensure that the, the under recovery being claimed by the NNPC, the claim about the volume of oil imported, are properly looked into. All right, that's the news, and um, it's really um, call it an interesting issue and. Uh, at some point, it's not interesting because uh, what we are hearing currently clearly shows that um, it's our duty at a point, especially issues of uh, controversy like this, it is the people that have the right to decide whether such loans should be given out. Already, Nigerians are really tired of what we are currently seeing. He had mentioned, they had mentioned for f funding of you know, um, public expenditures like this, I made mention of printing new notes, but we know the consequences of printing new notes. We've also uh, made mention of the issue of borrowing and also the issue of selling international bond. Bond is, you know, a kind of uh, mid, uh, um, kind of treasury bill, or that is a, a government uh, instrument that is used in raising money for government. They sell it, get money, mop the money from either nationally or internationally so that they can use it to fund in, to place you on interest rate, which they may be paying monthly or annually and all of that. So he has made mention of all of that. But the most important right now that uh, we feel it's very important to Nigerians is borrowing this money. What are they going to do with this money? Don't forget that one, according to him, one of the reasons why this money was not approved by the 8th Senate that's during the leadership of uh, Senate President Bukola Saraki was because there were no expenditure details 
they will know expenditure details. I think this is overly important because I can still remember when um, the president came and presented the budget to the joint house, uh, the joint lawmakers. One of the things that we said by the makers is the fact that there are no details to some of the budget ahead. Some of them have been repeated. For example, the mid mention, for example, a particular ministry was spent 19 billion naira, you know, in the previous year, only for you to see that same 19 billion are coming up and you go try to go through you know their record that detail of their expenditure and you realize that they still hijack the same thing that was in last year both the capital and the current expenditure they hijacked it like that way and they now place on whether it's excel they use or whatever but they just placed it like that and you know they complain about that 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 was not good enough for the government and i think this is one of the most important thing that we have to look into it's the duty of nigerians to decide whether this thing should be done okay we have already brought out long list of what is going to be done via the budget nigerians and expected incomes that you know we are expecting to come in to get those things why why not rest and see how we can block the loopholes through which money is exiting the system why not look at how we can you know build up internal control measures that will help stop some of the leakages that we have seen thus far in the government most of the revenue generating agencies that we're talking about their 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 level of reporting you know financial reporting how accurate is it because the likes of immigration, they bring up money. The likes of FR, uh, uh, that is Federal Road Safety Commission, they have a duty on bringing the biggest of them all. We all know that I'm talking about the uh, Federal Inland Revenue Service. They also raise money for the government. So the question is, or the, the thing is, why not capitalize on this revenue generating agency, putting up internal control measures, structures on ground to ensure that we stop any form of leakages in the revenue, any form of leakages. Right now, as we're talking to you, there are a lot of business people who do not even pay taxes. Now, why not clamp down on those people to see how you can recoup the monies and make use of it to solve whatever important projects that they have in mind? They've already mentioned a lot of them here, talking about the Niger Delta, uh, uh, Niger, uh, uh, Niger thing, Niger Delta Bridge, uh, the main mention of, uh, you know, uh, Abuja Kaduna Road, that it must also be fixed. They made mention of about five things that must be fixed. And that, that's why this money is needed so that they can fix all of this. I am of the opinion that they leave all of that. Because I know most of Nigerians who are interested in this issue will suggest same. Leave the issue of borrowing. Already, Nigeria is overly indebted. And that is the reason why most of them, most government, when they come on board like that, they look at the borrowing rate and it seems to be like discouraging them and they go into looting. Most of these monies are not just gotten and they use it for anything. I believe that the first thing that we have to do as a people, as Nigerians have to do, if this issue is brought into the public eyes and we are made to you know, give our contribution and also to debate on it, one of the most important things is that Oga, according to them, they said that about 6 billion naira was given by the government, by the 8th Senate, was approved by the 8th Senate, which has already been borrowed by the President. Please, can you show us the breakdown of things that we done with this money, careful details of how this monies were expended because the angers of nigeria is not the fact that we are going out to borrow but the problem is after borrowing is those money being channeled into the right route are they using the money to do the right thing as expected because it's not just to borrow the money that is the issue is to borrow the money and make sure that it is judiciously it is judiciously expended not expended on frivolities that is where nigerians are crying for that's why Nigerians are complaining. And these are the things that should be looked into. Now they have suggested that it's going to be in the hands of the people to decide that it's going to be a public hearing in a room be given for, for people to make contributions and all of that, which I believe will be the basis of making decision for the loan to be availed or to be approved before it's been availed. 
The question is, would those suggestions made during those public hearings, would it be useful? Now, some people are of the opinion that that was just a mere story that is not going to work out. The question is, if it's not going to work out, what is the need of informing us that there's going to be a public hearing? All of this had brought a lot of disturbances to Nigeria. And I feel that the government should do the right thing so that we get these things corrected once and for all. We just want to leave it. They go to a conversation. What do you think if Nigerians are given the opportunity to decide whether this money to 